morning we're going to winterize our practice field irrigation system by blowing out all the water with an air compressor. Here's the well that feeds the irrigation system. We're going to blow down our system from this point. This is a relay system. So when the irrigation box turns on, it turns on the well and feeds the system. As soon as the box controller turns off, the well turns off. So there's a relay, so we're gonna turn off the breaker for the well. All right, we're in the breaker panel. That is for the well. We're gonna turn the well pump, the power that supplies the well, off. And this will keep uh, any water from pumping after we've blown down the system. And this will keep the well from running while we're running the controller. We're gonna access our system through this blow-off valve on top of the well. So we're gonna take this off. Out of one inch pipe that we're gonna thread in to the well. And it has our Chicago air fitting on top. Look at air hose. What's that? Here's the controller for our irrigation system. It sends a signal to a relay that turns the well on, but we've turned that breaker off. So we need to uh, first set our percentage. We're going to go to 10%, and we'll cycle this through at 10% time. This doesn't have a test function, but for now, until we get started, we're going to put it on manual single station. And we're just going to open that valve and turn it on. Now we'll go start our air compressor and uh, put some air in the line. We have our borrowed air compressor that we're going to use, a trailer model. Puts out about 100 PSI and 185 CFMs. So it's a large air compressor and it has the volume to do what we want to do. Remember, when you're blowing down an irrigation system with this size compressor, you always want a valve open. You always want somewhere for the water and the air to go. As you can see, we have water coming out of our first zone. Start to see air. We'll just run through the system roughly about three or four minutes a zone. We're going to run this first zone until it empties out. This is what we like to see the heads blowing out because then we know that the lines are empty. Okay, now that we got our first zone emptied out, we're going to turn the box to off for a moment. And then we'll put it to manual program cycle. We've already set it to 10%. You can see we're at 10%. Manual program cycle. Oops. These boxes are kind of... Manual program cycle on. It's going to give us four minutes of zone. But that's the first, first zone we've already done, so we'll go to the next. So now we're doing three minutes of zone. Our second zone is up and blowing through. So it'll just go two, two through 12, and it should do it pretty much automatically. We have our third zone coming up on its own. And still plenty of water in the line. We're gonna blow them for three minutes of zone. Make sure that we get lots of lots of air through these lines. On athletic fields, it's good to make sure you really blow it down good because most of your valve boxes are usually on the side of a field, which are much lower height, and the water will run back to the valve. This way, we want to make sure we got all the water out of the zone. Another zone. go we've switched automatically all right 
that I have an issue. I have a valve that's not opening up electronically. So now I'm going to hit the bleeder, hit the bleeder valve, see if I can get this zone that's not working to come up so I can get the water out of it. There it is. You got it. Let's let that run out. Looks like we're just about clean on our last our last zone. I have this valve box open. I have this valve open right now. I'm gonna go turn my air compressor off. that air to bleed down before we unhook our line. Turn my controller to the off position until the spring. Okay, all the air has escaped the system. We can unhook our hose and unhook our riser adapter. I'm gonna use this little extension to fit in the well to blow out any uh, excess water that's sitting at the top. We have our hose hooked back up. We just have a pipe sticking in here to blow Help blow out some of the water. We're going to give it a little burp. Of it. And we have all the residual water out. And we'll put our pressure relief valve back on top of the well. Button up this last valve. Tighten it up. Tighten the bleeder. Put our valve box cover back on and we'll see you in the spring.